I live in Saurashtra, Gujarat. I am a Kathi Kshatriya. I, it is said that the Kathis lived in Satya Sindhu or present day Punjab area of the time, at the time of Alexander's invasion. And they also took part in the war against Alexander. And Druvik says, Saraostus, Sairastrin, Surastrini, Surashtra, Surat, etc. These are some names by which modern Saurashtra region was referred to in history. Was it Saraostus earlier than related to Saurashtra? Uh, what is the history? What is the founding story of today's Kathiawar region? Okay, let's look at the map. Where is Saurashtra? Kathiawar. Saurashtra is the jaw of Gujarat. India, if, if so India has a face. The face is Gujarat, right? It looks like a human face. And the jaw, this peninsula, is the Saurashtra Peninsula. It is also known as the Kathiawar Peninsula. So it is named after the Kathi people, Kathiawar. So uh, what is the... So it is said that these people lived in Sapta Sindhu, present-day Punjab. Well, I have no idea about that, whether they, the Kathi people migrated from, from Sapta, Sapta Sindhu or Punjab or whatever. What we know is that the Sapta Sindhu region is something that was highly populated, densely populated for, according to the standards of those times, about 5,000 years before today. So every Indian who lives in India today has ancestry from those, from that period of time, from that region, right? Because afterwards, once the great river Saraswati dried out, people had to migrate from Sapta Sindhu eastwards to various parts of India. So it is clear that the people of Gujarat or the people of Bangladesh, Bengal, people of Kashmir, people of Sri Lanka, Tamil Nadu, etc. Everybody has some ancestry from the people who lived in the Sapta Sindhu region 5,000 years ago. Right? That is undeniable. And you can see that in India's genetic studies also. You can see that. So, uh, the people of Saurashtra, the Kathi people or whoever they are, they will certainly have ancestry from the Sapta Sindhu region, which is right next door. I mean, Saurashtra, that region, was very much part of the extended uh, Saraswati Sindhu uh, civilization, phase of India's civilization. So certainly that would be there. Now, did the fight against Alexander, we don't know about that. There is no evidence that says that the people of Saurashtra fought Alexander. They may have, but we don't know for sure. Now, what Druvik says is all these names, Saraostus, Sirastrini, Surastrini, etc. These are Greek names. Indians don't use Greek names. These are names by which the modern Saurashtra region was referred to in history by foreigners. We don't care what foreigners say. Their perspective is a foreign perspective. Okay, so uh, Saurashtra most likely was, uh, it's the origin of the name seems to be Saurashtra, which means solar land. So solar land means the people who worship the sun. So that could be one of the origins of uh, the name of Saurashtra. Either Saur Rashtra, which means the land of the sun, solar land, or Surashtra, which means a good land, a good country. Right. So these are two possible uh, origins, etymological origins of the name of this region, Saurashtra. It is also known that Saurashtra was ruled by the Indo Scythians for a few centuries. Uh, people like Rudra, Daman, Rudra, Sindha, etc. So the Scythians were of Indian origin. They lived in Central Asia for a few thousand years. Then they re-entered India about 2,200 years ago. And many of them settled down in Western India. And their kings ruled these parts of the country. It is known that the, the Scythian kings, the Indo-Scythian kings, the Mahakshatrapas, ruled Western India, including Gujarat and Saurashtra, for a couple of centuries or so. And they were, by all accounts, very good kings. They were good Indian kings, Dharmic kings. And the Scythians, while they were in Central Asia, were known to be sun worshippers. They worshipped the sun. Our Persian brothers and sisters have, have, have recorded this, that the Scythians were sun worshippers. And the sun obviously is a, is a Vedic deity also. So maybe after they settled down in Saurashtra and they ruled the region for some time, maybe that could be one of the reasons why it was called Saurarashtra. So these are some possible origins of the name of this region. That's what we can say. Apart from that, our history textbooks don't say too much more about this.